Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna be sharing one editing trick that blew my mind when I first found out about it. In Photoshop, you guys can do something called masking and this led to become a lot more detail oriented and creative with your edits. I get asked a couple times, how do I take better portraits? And there's so many factors that go into this. And one of those factors is editing. And this editing trick in particular really helped improve my photos. So today I'm gonna be sharing some examples of how you guys can use it with your photos. Let's say you want to change the blue sky color so you start making those adjustments but you notice that it's also starting to affect the color of the subject's jacket which is something you don't want. Well next to the adjustment there's a white canvas and when it's all white what this means is that the adjustment is affecting the entire photo. Now if you click the white canvas and select the brush tool and make sure you have the black brush selected, now you guys can brush over the areas you don't want the effect to take place in. Once you start brushing, you can see that it's now hiding the effect. And now when we look at our white canvas, we see some black areas in it and that's because the black areas are letting us know that this is the section where we hid the effect. Now let's say that you accidentally brushed over an area that you didn't mean to hide. So now if we select the white brush tool and brush over that area, we are now bringing back the effect. So the first big thing to take away from this is that the black brush hides the effect and if you accidentally brushed over an area that you didn't mean to hide, then you guys can use the white brush and it'll help you bring that effect back. Another way I really like to use this effect is sometimes I'll notice that the ground is a little bit too bright which takes away from the subject's face. So one thing I like to do is make a curves adjustment and then I'll bring down the midtones and then also bring down the shadows just to add a bit more contrast. And now I like how it looks on the ground, but I don't want this to be affecting the entire image. So one thing I'm gonna do is click the white canvas and then click Command plus I on my keyboard. And now it's gonna be hiding this effect from the entire image. And now I'm gonna click the background layer and use the selection tool and start selecting the areas on the ground that I do want the effect to take place in so I can later just brush that in. And to speed it up, I'm not gonna make the most precise selection. So now once you have your selection, I'm going to go ahead and click the black canvas now and then select the brush tool and make sure you're on the white brush and then start brushing over these areas. And here's the before and after. My bad, I should have showed you guys how to make a cleaner selection because it's something that's really important. So here's an updated clip. So once you finish brushing over the ground, make sure you click the layer mask and then hit the slant tool on your keyboard. Once you click the slant tool, you'll get this red glow on your photo. And the red portions are the areas where the effect is not taking place in, and the visible areas are where the effect is taking place in. This is super helpful because it lets you see the areas you might have missed, or the parts you accidentally brushed over. So I'm going to use the selection tool and then select your ankle, and now I'm going to use the black brush tool and brush over this area to hide the effect. It helps to be super detail oriented and you guys can see that I also brushed over these pant loops so we could remove that as well. This slant tool really helps out and shows you exactly which areas are being affected and vice versa. One thing I really like to do with the slant tool is zoom in and then check areas that I might have missed and start cleaning up the selection. Another cool tip, if you're using the brush tool and you want to move back and forth between the white brush and the black brush, an easy way to do that is by clicking the letter X on your keyboard, which will help you move back and forth between both brushes. This helps you speed up your workflow and it makes it a lot smoother. Now I'm going to show you guys one more way on how you guys can use a layer mask creatively and also show you a scenario where you don't necessarily have a layer mask to begin with and how you guys can create one. If you type in light leak textures on Google and then click images, you'll get a lot of cool light leak overlays that you guys can use for your photos. I'm going to scroll down and then pick one for the tutorial, but you guys can pick whichever one fits your photo the best. Once you have the light leak selected, drag it onto your photo on Photoshop. Oh damn, I thought the first one didn't go through, but I guess it did, so I just delete the duplicated one. Okay, well now I'm going to click Command T to transform the light leak and make it big enough for it to cover the entire photo. Now I'm going to change the blending mode to lighten and bring the opacity down so the light leak isn't too noticeable. And I brought it down to about 70%. So I don't want the light leak to affect the right side of the photo, but as you guys can see, we don't have a layer mask on this layer. So to create one, you can go down here and click this layer mask icon and now we've added it to our layer. Now I'm going to pick the black brush tool and start brushing over the areas that I want to hide. I 
I'm gonna transform the light leak once again so it reaches more of the bottom edge of the photo. And you don't always have to mask things out from a light leak, but I wanted to show you guys that in case you ran into a situation where your layer didn't have a layer mask and you wanted to create one. Okay, now I'm gonna show you another light leak where you don't have to mask anything out. Once again, I'm gonna transform it and make it fit my photo. I'm gonna change the blending mode to lighten and then move it until I find a good spot where it sits and blends well. And I think this looks sick. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you guys will be protesting, I hope you guys stay safe and keep the movement going. Much love to everyone and I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Alright, peace.